Good morning students. Welcome to online class. Hope you are keeping well by the blessing of God. So students, today I am going to teach you English literature from your reader book. And I hope that you have purchased books and the book is with you. So you open page 62. In my previous lecture I read up to page 61. Today I am going to read page 62. So I am reading. You just follow the lines. Delicately sensing decay at last, the regiments of mice hummed out as softly as blown grey leaves in an electrical wind. 2.15 the dog was gone. In the cellar, the NC narrator the pronunciation is incinerator okay in the cellar incinerator glowed suddenly and a whirl of sparks lit up the chimney 235 bridge tables sprouted from patio walls playing cards fluttered unto pads in a shower of pips Martinis manifested on an oaken bench with XLR sandwiches music played but the tables were silent and the cards untouched at 4 o'clock the tables folded like great button butterflies back through the Paneled walls, 5 o'clock, the bath filled with clear hot water, 6, 7, 8 o'clock, the dinner dishes manipulated like magic tricks and in the study a click. In the metal stand opposite the hearth where a fire now blazed up warmly, a cigar popped out half an inch of soft grey ash on it, smoking waiting. Nine o'clock, the beds warmed their hidden circuits, for nights were cool here. Nine five, a voice spoke from the study ceiling. Mrs. MacLennan, which poem would you like this evening? The house was silent. The voice said at last, since you express no, no preference, I shall select a poem at random. Quiet music rose to back the voice. Sarah Tizadel, as I recall, your favorite. There will come soft rains and the smell on the ground and swallow circling with their shimmering sound and frogs in the pools singing a night and wild plum trees in tremulous white. Robins will bear their feathery fire whistling their whims on a low fence wire and not one will know of the war not one will care at last when it is done. Not one would mind neither bird nor tree. If mankind perished utterly and spring herself when she woke and dawn would, would scarce, scarcely know that we were gone. The fire burned on the stone hearth and the cigar fell away into a mound of quiet ash on its tree the empty chairs faced each other between the silent walls and the music played and at 10 o'clock the house began to die the wind blew a falling tree bow crashed through the kitchen window cleaning solvent bottled, shattered over the stove. The room was ablaze in an instant. Fire 
screamed a voice. The house lights flashed. Water pumps shot water from the ceilings, but the solvent spread on the on the linoleum, licking, eating under the kitchen door. Why the voice took it up in chorus, fire, fire, fire. The house tried to save itself. Doors sprang tightly shut, but the windows were broken by the heat and the wind blew and sucked upon the fire. The house gave ground as the fire in 10 billion angry sparks moved with flaming ease from room to room and then up the stairs while scurrying water rats squaked from and the wall sprays let down showers of showers of mechanical rain but too late somewhere somewhere sign a pump shrugged to a stop the quenching rain ceased the reserve water supply which had filled baths and washed dishes for many quiet days was gone the fire crackled up the stairs it fed upon Picassos and Matisses in the upper halls like like deli delicacies baking off the oily flesh tenderly crisping the canvases into black shavings now the fire lay in bed stood in windows changed the colors of drapes and then then reinforce reinforcements